The Varsity Show at Columbia University is a time-honored and prestigious tradition. In its 127th year, our documentary crew was allowed a glimpse into the creative process of the student-driven musical. What you are about to see is a depiction of extreme student theater comprising the best the Ivy League has to offer. This week on The Varsity Show, we examine the creative process where personalities collide as the team struggles internally to define the plot and vision of their masterpiece. So, the theme of the show came to me in a dream. Blue. We can use white accents and some shimmering materials to really evoke the sense of winter. Ooh, so cold, so frigid. The world is so hard on these students. They're in the winter of their life. Yeah, I'm seeing Presbo in a parka, lined with seal fur. Chilly. Um, let's, let's table that. Yeah, our production designer's been really salty ever since she didn't receive an invitation to the Gap NYC party. Now she thinks this musical is her chance to outdo her. I'm not totally sure that fits in with the outline we've created. But we can tweak some things if need be. Yeah, that's a no-go for me. Clearly, the theme of the show is springtime. There's hope, excitement, a sort of a joie de vivre in the air. This is all too much to take in. I'm gonna need to ruminate for a while. Uh, come back to me when you're ready to make something monumental. This show won't have a theme if we don't clarify elements and, and, and begin writing scenes. I mean, is, is there even a dead? When's the deadline for the, for the scenes? Yeah, that'll be next week, Captain. Oh, shit. It's really that soon? I've literally sent him a reminder every day for the last three weeks. I, for one, think the early deadline is great. Maybe if the writer stopped slacking off and single-handedly keeping Mel's afloat, we would know where to insert the songs. Yeah, maybe if the music team took the initiative to start writing some melodies, the choreographer would know what the dance breaks are. Yeah, and maybe if the choreographer finished some of the dances... Sorry, I don't have anything. I just want to be included. Great instinct. You'll learn. Look, I... I don't care when the freeze date is, so long as someone gets us this purchasing form by Wednesday. The only thing on the list is this, this pink panda first. Wait, this is not in the outline. Who is this for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought if I put it on there, no one would notice. Those things are really expensive, you know? And Furrycon is just around the corner. <sighs> Unless... You are keeping one of the props we actually need for the show. V127 is not your personal piggy bank. Now, hold on. We could write in a fursuit. Yeah, maybe the scene where Maud Latour is teaching Presbo to accept himself and block his haters. Maybe then we could find out he's a furry. No! If this show becomes any more bloated, Rodgers and Hammerstein We'll have to rise from the grave and personally pump its stomach. Yeah! I don't really get what his deal is with Rogers and Hammerstein, but he always seems really excited whenever I hype him up after he mentions them. Okay, all that aside, I've been working on this song that I really wanted to show you guys. Is, is, is this where the, the witches lament about the lack of vegan options in John Jay? No, this is the duet between Presbo and the socialist Barnard student right after they switch bodies. Ah, the Freaky Fossey Freaky Friday Fossey number. Oh, yes. The number that comes right before they all get sucked into a game of Among Us, where they must win in order to get out alive. I have no clue what this show is about. Yes, glad that's clarified. Anyways, it's got this little Fossey, Candor, and Ebb moment. It's very Chicago, very you know, cabaret but all while being completely unique and not at all unoriginal. Sounds great, <laughs> but can we hear it? Okay, well, it goes, it goes a little like, 
Uh, lovely. Have you considered adding words? Yeah, just wait. Um, the words come in after. Oh, please enlighten us. Okay. You'll be on my list if you're a socialist. I'll put an end to this from the inside. And then Prez will go, I'll tell the board they can't ignore our protest. Meet these demands that I'll shoot it and I'll make those little shits pay. Vegans will eat in John Jay. Something, something, something. I'm the president and I will get my way. Okay, don't all clap at once. <laughs> Thoughts? I, I, I think it's ready. You know, little tweaks here and there. Oh my God. While you were seeing that, I had so many visions. Um, I'm, I'm picturing red lights. It's sexy. So sexy. Suddenly, a silhouette appears in the Zoom square. Who is it? It's Presbo. Spotlights, top hat, glittery pants, and he's young, but ancient. Timeless, but dated. Sassy, but a little shy. He is V127, and he is beautiful. I think this meeting is over. Yeah, great meeting, Chief.